we will now proceed with the specimen collection from the catheter. Urine naman yung kukuhain natin this time. Pero, instead na directly, we will get it from the catheter. So, first... proceed with the actual getting of the specimen. Okay? So, ma'am, kukuha na po tayo ng specimen. Pero first, kailangan muna natin i-ready yung inyong catheter. So, okay lang po ba na makita po yung catheter ninyo? Okay? So, first, we will inspect the catheter. Now, itatanong nyo, pwede po bang makaupo si client? Pwede po. Pwede rin po ba siyang makahiga? Pwede rin po. Whichever position na comfortable ka at comfortable din ang pasyente mo. Okay? So, kung gusto niya mo siyang ihiga or gusto niya medyo mababa ng konti, okay lang. Okay? Let's see, ganyang position. Okay? You don't need naman na ilabas yung buong catheter. Kasi ang kailangan lang natin is this part of the catheter. Okay? Ma'am, itataas ko lang yung kamay niya konti. Okay? Wear your clean gloves. But before that, you should have washed your hands or at least alcoholize your hands. Okay? And then, wear clean gloves. Okay? Put a, a bed protector on the side kung saan kayo magpo-collect ng specimen. Okay. Ayan. And then, you have to kink first. Okay. And lock it in place using a forcep. Bakit natin kinikink? So that we will be able to uh, get ample amount of urine. Maiipon muna yung urine bago natin kukuhain sa part na ito. Okay? So, gaano katagal siyang nakakink? Around uh, 15 minutes na nakakink yung kanyang catheter. So, after 15 minutes na nakakink, you will get a cotton with alcohol. Cotton soaked with alcohol. And put it or and alcoholize the part where kailangan siyang kuhaan. So, this part. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Open your specimen container. Okay. Ito ang gagamitin natin pang kuha ng specimen. Okay. So, a syringe ang kailangan natin to get a sample. Okay. Gaano karami? Uh, about 10 cc of urine. So, ano ang position ng ating uh, syringe? The position of your syringe should be like this. Okay? Hindi ganito ang hawak. Hindi ganyan. Okay? Kundi ganito. Firm ang hawak sa syringe with the uh, bevel up. So, dapat yung butas ng karayom nakaharap sa inyo. Okay? Harap sa inyo yung butas ng karayom and dito nyo siya itutusok okay, sa sanga na ito. Okay? On this area. Okay? So, tutusok tayo dito. Hindi pa 90 degrees, kundi diagonally at 45 degree position. Okay? Tutusok mo siya. Okay? Pag nasa loob na yung karayom, Kukuha tayo ng 10 cc of urine. And then, pag nakakuha na, kailangan mo siyang tanggalin. Okay? Ganun lang. And then, Okay? And then, Remove the needle. Okay, twist it. Ayan. And then, 
lalagay natin yung urine sa specimen cup, dahan-dahan. Okay? Bago mo siya tatakpan. Okay? And then, again, alcoholize the site kung saan kayo kumuha ng specimen. Don't forget to remove your clamp. Okay? Para makadalo yung ihi. Okay? Straighten it and remove the bed protector. Okay? And we will now proceed with i-drain muna natin yung laman ng catheter. So, sa pag-drain ng laman ng catheter, okay, you have to have a measuring device. Okay? And, ang gagawin nyo dito sa dulo, okay, hihilain lang siya pababa. Yan. Okay? Para i-open yung inyong catheter, hihilain nyo lang yan siya. Yan. Okay, and then, isasahod nyo siya sa ating measuring container. Pag wala ng urine, empty na yung ating urine bag, then that's the time na ipupush nyo lang siya pataas and lock na yan siya. Okay, and then you will measure the urine eye level and after measuring it, we will discard it. Remove your gloves. And discard all infectious items to the yellow waste receptacle and bring your specimen to the laboratory. Okay? So ma'am, okay na po. Nakakuha na po tayo ng specimen sa inyo. So dadalhin po na po yun sa laboratory. So meron pa po ba kayong needs? Wala na po. Kung wala na, then iiwan po natin mo na kayo. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so when getting a specimen from an infant, we use a certain uh, equipment. We call this a pediatric urine collector. Okay, so ito yung ginagamit natin to catch the urine of an infant. So ito yung ilalagay natin sa private part, sa genital ng isang infant, so that we will get a urine specimen. Okay. So, aside from this, we will also be needing tissue to wipe the genital area ng baby. Okay? Lalo na kung maraming uh, sticker ng ating collector ang may iwan. Your labeled specimen cup and yung ating uh, bed protector kung kinakailangan. Okay? So, now let's proceed with the mother and her infant. So, Knock, knock. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Mama ko po si Princess Navara. And uh, ako po yung naka-assign sa inyo ngayong hapon. So, ma'am, meron po special order si doctor na dapat po natin makuhaan ng specimen si baby. Specifically po yung urine or lihid na at ng baby. Okay lang po ba ang lagyan natin siya ng urine collector? or we bag po. Sige po, dito ko na lang po gagawin yung paglagay ng we bag sa tabi niyo ma. Para kasama niyo po yung baby at nakikita niyo kung paano siya ikakabit. Okay po? In getting your urine sample from the baby, you have to first wash your hands and wear a pair of clean gloves. Okay? Here, okay, no gloves. Okay. And, titignan natin yung diaper ni baby. Okay. So, open nyo muna yung diaper ni baby. Okay. Then check kung nakaihi na ba yung bata. Kung nakaihi na yung baby, then you have to remove the old diaper and replace with it with a new one. Pero kung hindi naman, okay, we can use still use this diaper. Just get 
a tissue. Okay. At iwa-wipe natin yung gilid or yung singit ng baby. Para didikit yung sticker ng ating wee bag. Okay. Wipe it off so that yung mga um, excess na pawis ay matatanggal. And then, we will put the urine collector. So, ganito yung itsura niya pag naalis na sa bag. Okay? This is the urine collector. Okay? we we'll remove the sticker and we will put it in the genital of the infant. Dapat sakto. Okay? Ganyan. Okay. Yan. Okay. Pwedeng hindi nyo muna i-tape yung diaper ni baby para hindi maikokompress yung kanyang wee bag. Okay. What you can do is i-cover muna si baby. Okay. Diyan lang muna siya. And then, check it or check the urine collector after 30 minutes to make sure na nakaihi na yung bata. Okay? So, after 30 minutes, okay, babalik tayo sa uh, bedside ng baby. Okay? And we will check kung mayroon na bang ihi doon sa wee bag. So, kung may ihi na sa wee bag, kukunin na natin yan at i-collect. Okay. Check natin. Okay. Check natin yung kanyang urine collector. Okay. So, kung may nakita na kayong ihi, let's say may ihi na si patient sa bag, you will remove it. Ganyan. Okay. And you will put the contents of the urine in the labeled specimen cup. Okay? Ilalagay natin dito yung contents. Kung konti lang naman ito, hindi siya masyadong marami, you can actually put the entire urine wee bag inside. Okay? Para hindi na siya mag-spill. Okay? And then, we will bring this to the laboratory. Okay? Let's return to the infant. And again, wipe off the sides. Siguradong matanggal yung mga sticker. Okay? Kasi para hindi ma-irritate yung skin ng baby. And, itakabit na natin yung diaper ni baby. Okay na po, ma'am. Nakuhaan na po natin ng specimen si baby. Okay, you remove your gloves. Okay. So, yung result, ma'am, ay lalabas na lang po yan after a few hours. Okay. At sasabihin naman po sa inyo na pwede kung ano ang result. Okay po, ma'am. So, for now, meron pa po ba akong may pag-review sa inyo, ma'am? Kung wala na, lalabas na po yun na. Okay, so after getting the specimen, bring the specimen to the laboratory, wash your hands, and do the necessary aftercare procedures and documentation. Now we will proceed with the uh, specimen collection of sputum and the uh, procedure in specimen collection when it comes to urine collection from the catheter as well as urine collection of infants. So, sisimulan muna natin sa uh, pagkuha ng sputum ni patient. So, first is we have to prepare our equipment. So, ano ba ang equipments natin in getting the specimen from the sputum? So, you have to have a cup of water for gargling tissue, okay, your towel, okay, and then kidney basin with tissue, a pair of gloves, your labeled specimen container, and as well as you have to wear your 
face mask. Dahil ang clients natin could be suspected PTB patient or other patients na mayroong uh, infectious uh, respiratory disease. Okay, so pupunta na tayo kay patient. Okay, so knock knock. Happy afternoon po ma'am. Ako po si Princess Namara. And nandito po ko para kumuha ng inyong uh, sputum or plema okay, na papatignan po natin sa laboratory. So, okay lang po ba na gawin natin yung procedure na yun? Okay. So, since okay naman si pasyente na gawin yung procedure uh, ngayon, then we will proceed with the uh, collection of specimen. You have to have clean hands, so you have to wash your hands first. Okay, after washing your hands, you will now position your client. Okay, so for specimen collection of sputum, we have to position the client in a uh, semi fowler's position. Okay, so pwede natin adjust yung body ni client. Okay, pwede natin i-adjust. chest me client para hindi siya mababasa. Okay. After that, let's wear our gloves. gargle first with water. So, ma'am, uh, gagargle po tayo ng tubig. Okay. Sige po ma'am, gargle po muna kayo. And then, let your client spit on the kidney basin. Okay. And then, wipe. And then, let your client breathe three times. Okay. Deeply. Inhale. Sige ma'am, inhale po kayo. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then on the third na inhale. Okay. Instead of exhale, let your client cough. So, inhale ma'am. <coughs> cough. Okay. Pag cough niya, okay, from the chest, okay, may plema sumama, then papadura natin directly dito sa Cup. Let's say, walang plema na lumabas on the first try. You can repeat this procedure, the uh, inhale and exhale, three times. Okay? Pag wala talagang plema on the third try, stop na muna. Okay? Rest. Okay? So, let's say may plema si ma'am. Okay? Since may plema, papaspit natin dito. Sige po ma'am, spit po kayo. Okay? And then cover it immediately. Okay? This will be uh, brought to the laboratory. Okay? After that, papamumugin natin ulit si client. So, sige po ma'am. Mumug po kayo. Okay? Dura po kayo ulit. And then, after that, punasan natin yung bibig ni client. Okay? After which, pukuha din natin yung specimen sa laboratory. Okay? 